Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Lation from Lation Scripts, and uh, we're just going to dive right into this. So you're here to learn how to add scripts to your 5M server. This is a really simple process and will work for all the major frameworks, whether that's ESX, Cubicore, doesn't matter. In this video, I'm going to be doing this on a Cubicore server, and I'm going to be installing our most popular script, our advanced weed growing. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to learn more about this script later on. Uh, so let's get into it. So I've already downloaded my script from Keymaster. Yours may be from Keymaster as well, or a site like GitHub. Either way, doesn't matter. The download you got is most likely going to be a zip file. And so at this point, you're going to need uh, an extraction tool like WinRAR or similar. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR, the download's in the description for you as well. Um, so now we just need to open the zip file and we can simply drag and drop this onto our desktop to extract it or we can do it directly into our server files. In this example, I'm just going to be doing it directly into my server files. So, uh, you know, just go to your main resources folder. If you don't know where that's at, just follow along here. Uh, should be a folder resources and I'm going to do this into the standalone folder. So um, to extract it, simply just click and drag and boom, done. So now that that point's done, we can get rid of this zip file. We don't really need this any longer. And now we can dive right into our script here and start checking it out, see what we got to install. Now, just real quick, whenever you're adding a new script to your server, be sure before you restart your server with the new script installed that you've at least visited the config file and made any necessary changes to fit your specific setup. Uh, in this example, you're going to see I'm using a program called VS Code. You'll see that as I open up the config here. Uh, if you're using something else like Notepad or even Notepad, <laughs> Notepad++, I highly recommend you just trash them immediately and download this instead. Uh, the link for that is also in the description. All right, so getting back to our script files here and beginning the install. Like, uh, So we see our config file here, which is important. We're going to come to that later. Uh, but we also see this install folder. This tells us there's stuff we need to do here. So upon opening that up, we see a couple things, images and an items folder install instructions which is great uh, and then an sql file so we're going to go through these one by one uh, first we're going to start with the sql file all right so at this point i'm assuming you already have a 5m server set up which means you got a database running and you know how to access it that's my assumption if i'm wrong let me know i'll try to help you out in the comments uh, but otherwise let's install this sql file so i'm going to show you how i do this there's a few different ways to go about it but this way is the one i believe is the most simple so what I'll usually do is I'll just open the SQL file in VS Code, copy the content of it, go over to my database. Now, if you're using the typical database, yours will probably look like this. And we'll go over to the SQL tab here. We'll paste what we copied from the file. Hit go. And boom, done. If you see something like this, great. It worked. Our SQL file is now done and we can move on to the next step. Now this next part will look different for everyone and largely depends on what inventory system you're using. In this example, I'm using Quasar inventory, which means I'll just be adding the items as I normally would if I was using the default QB inventory system. So if you're using either, either one of these, then just follow these steps. Otherwise, you'll need to refer to your specific inventory's documentation. So going back into our install folder, let's open up the items folder first. And in here we find various files for various inventory systems, which is helpful. As mentioned, I'm using Quasar inventory, so I'll be opening the QS inventory file. And once opened, I'm just going to select all and copy all this data. And then I'm going to navigate back a couple folders. And I'm going to open QB, QB core, shared, and items.lua. Now, I'm already scrolled to the bottom. If, uh, your, if yours looks something like this, just get to the bottom of your list. Uh, at the bottom but before the last closing bracket so i'm just going to hit enter create some empty space here and i'm going to paste what i copied now that's that's all we got to do for the items part now we need to add the images so i'm going to save this i'm going to go back to our script we're installing which was uh, our weed script install and this time i'm going to grab the images same thing i'm just going to select them all copy them and now we're going back. Since I'm using uh, Quasar inventory, as mentioned, I'm gonna go to the QS inventory, HTML, images, and I'm just gonna paste these images. Now it tells me I'm gonna replace some, that's fine. I just wanna use these new images that I got. Boom, 
done. After that, we've installed our items, we've installed our SQL, now we can visit the config and make sure we got everything set up there before we start for the first time. So we're going to navigate back to the main directory of the script we're installing, which was in this case the weed growing, and we just want to visit the config, make sure there's nothing in here we need to change before starting it. Uh, just going to do a quick glance, uh, debug target, uh, if none, then text UI is used. That's great. I prefer the text UI. I'm not going to set any target scripts. Uh, progress, max plant count, render distance. This all looks fine. What we're looking for really is just like if it asks for your framework or other things that would be specific to our server. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else we're going to need. So I think we're ready to go ahead and try this script out. So what I'm going to do is head over here and we're going to restart our server and we'll get in there and see if this works. So while we're loading in, just remember if this has been helpful to you at all, be sure to like the video, comment, let me know if you want more of these. We can do plenty more tutorials. Uh, just let me know what you guys want and uh, we'll get those videos done for you. Uh, so we're just going to load in here, test out the new script and see how it all went. All right, so here we are. We're loaded in. It's time to test the script and make sure our install went according to plan. So I went ahead, I already know the requirements of the script and spawned the items I knew I would need, such as some seeds, plant pot, shovel, the water, fertilizer, all that good stuff. Uh, so far so good. If the items are working, that's a great sign. So we're going to go ahead and get started, make sure we can actually plant some, uh, plant some weed. So I'm going to start with the first one, the regular weed, uh, and it looks like our controls are good. And uh, you can see is doesn't let me plant here it turns red but if we move it out into the grass it lets us theoretically plant here so let's see on that all right that's a success and we'll try a second one for good measure this is the purple haze and we'll go ahead and just place that right there so now so far so good we'll walk up to our plants and make sure we can actually interact with them so we see all our options here thirst hunger growth all that good stuff we'll go ahead and test uh, an action so watering seems like it's good so far and our water level or our thirst level rather has updated growth has started to update this is great we'll check our second plant our purple haze and we can see this one has started growing as well we'll go ahead and fertilize this and so far so good great all right so as long as everything's working then that's your install great job uh, and again, in this example, I installed the advanced weed growing by Lation Scripts myself. Uh, this is our most popular script uh, for many reasons. It includes, you know, custom props such as these colorful plant options. And, you know, uh, you can learn more about it here on the website. I'll include the link in the description. It's a great improvement to any server. Uh, any questions, just ask. And uh, that about wraps it up. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know below. Uh, we'll crank them out for you. And thanks again for watching.